What is up my friends and I hope you enjoyed that pre-season friendly tonight. The Reds travelling over to Germany and dismantling Leipzig by five goals to nil. Oh and I don't know if you're aware of this but Darwin Nunes, you know him, you know the Darwin Nunes that everybody and their grandmother outside of Liverpool fans has been writing off. Well he's only gone and scored today, what was that? Did he score one Craig? He did not know, he didn't score one, he didn't score two, he didn't score three. He only went and scored himself four goals today, Darwin. Now, not to get carried away with this, but just give him the Ballon d'Or. Now, it's all over. It's done. He's the best player in the world. I'm only joking. I'm not going to get carried away with it. But I am buzzing for the lad. I thought it was nice that they allowed him to take the penalty. Um, and let's be honest, keeper helped him out with a couple. The, the last goal wasn't great by the keeper, but I'm sure Darwin doesn't care one bit. And you could see the massive smile plastered all over Jurgen Klopp's face on the sidelines as well. So look, let's pick the bones out of it. Let's go through it and we will talk the game. As Klopp said beforehand, some of the guys were going to get 60, some are going to get 45, and then others are going to get 30 minutes. All that I will ask you guys to do is let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section. Do, of course, drop a like on the video for me. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so because we're going to have lots of fun this season. So look, let's go right back to the very start. How do they all play today? I thought Adrian did well, made a couple of decent saves in the first half. Full backs, Robbo, and there was a couple of positions he got into where I think he could have maybe done a little bit better. I know that sounds harsh, but we are looking for perfection. We're striving for that. We won't ever get it, but that's what we're looking for. So he was bright, Robbo, but there was one time in particular, Salah made a lovely run across the front of the defender when Robbo had gotten to the byline and he wasn't quite able to pick him out. But if I'm talking about first half performances, and I'm talking about who impressed me. I think Mohamed Salah looks absolutely amazing. He looks so excited. He looks so calm. He looks so... I don't know how you can look excited and calm, by the way. But he did. Um, and he looks just so sharp. Everything about his movement today, his touches, he just looked peaked, primed and ready for the season ahead. Add to that the fact that we still haven't seen a preseason goal from Diaz, who... I don't know if it was his best performance today. I've got to be honest with you. I'm, look, it's pre-season. It's all about building up to when the season starts. But I'm sure that Lucho Diaz will be looking to add a couple of goals to his uh, to his pre-season before we, we start against Fulham on the opening day. Uh, Centre-backs first half. Again, I thought they looked quite well. We nearly conceded at the end of the first half where Canada kind of made a bit of a hash of a clearance and Christopher Nkunku wasn't able to finish. But the opening goal, when it came, was... Uh, was it looked easy, but it wasn't. So I'll talk you through it as quick as I can. Leipzig keeper clears it long. Van Dijk wins a header. Goes to Thiago. Thiago tries the ball forward. Doesn't quite work out. Then eventually wriggles through to Bobby and he lays it off to Mo. Mo's about 15 yards out. Galaxy in front of him. He just gives him the eyes and side foots it into the corner. Calm, composed. Exactly what I'd expect from Mohamed Salah in front of goal. From there on, we just, we just looked a better team. We did. We looked sharper all over the pitch. Leipzig went fairly strong. Um, they're a good team. I was expecting more from Nkunku today. Didn't really show up. Don't really care, but it is what it is. But it was about our boys, and it was about putting in a performance. And I don't know if that was maybe a, a teaser from Jurgen Klopp about what we can expect to start the season. Um, two positions where I may kind of disagree with them. Keita in midfield, probably because that was Keita's game today. That was since his move um, to Liverpool from Leipzig. I think that game was set up for Naby Keita to... Uh, I think it was part of the deal, maybe. But either way, didn't really didn't do too well i gotta be honest i wasn't a big fan of naby's performance today thiago did do well and um, who else was on in the first half trying to cast my mind back on the right hand side salah was brilliant left hand side diaz was okay firmino i actually thought bobby did okay today obviously got himself a little assist for salah's goal but for me that's the brightest i've seen bobby in pre-season jürgen klopp has spoken about how great he's looked on the training ground and i think now we're starting to see that carried forward but i wonder Will we see Bobby start the season through the centre against Fulham? Or after today, is Klopp going to go, well, Darwin has his confidence now. Let's start him. Either way, great options for the manager ahead of the start of the season. Moving into the second half then, there were some changes made. Uh, obviously, the main one being Darwin coming on. Um, and look, four goals. Answers all of his critics. And I don't understand why there ever was critics, to be honest with you. The same way I wouldn't understand... 
Liverpool fans slagging off any other club signing who had a few minutes in pre-season. It just didn't, never made any sense to me. I thought it was the worst side of football fandom showing up yet again. And I fully expect the comments of this video to be filled full of the very people who were slagging him off, now saying that we're all overreacting and that, you know, he was lucky to get his goals, yada, yada, yada. You just can't win with some of these people. So I'm not even going to try. But I'm very pleased for him. Very pleased for him. It was a nailed on Peno. No arguments there. Diaz got there just ahead of the keeper. The keeper brought him down. Referee points to the spot. It wasn't the greatest of Peno's. The keeper got two strong hands to it. But it went in. And from that point on, we were just in, in free flow in the second half. Fabio Cavaglia, what a talent. What an exciting player. Myself and Paddy did single him out with somebody who were really looking forward to, to hitting the ground running this season. Um, and running at defenders today from him. Could have got himself a goal maybe, came close, dragged it just wide of the front of the keeper's left hand post, uh, but again promising signs. I want to give a special mention though to Curtis Jones, because Curtis Jones has been somebody who has divided a lot of us Liverpool fans over the past season or so, and we wondered was he going to push on. This was one of the better Curtis Jones performances for me. From the second he came on, he lit the place up. You see his little bit of skill down by the corner flag as well, just, just taking, turning people inside out. But he looked confident today and he looked at it and I'm delighted for him and I hope he continues that form on. Harvey Elliott always continues to impress me whenever he's on a football pitch. But I want to, I'm giving loads of shout outs here, by the way, I'm a bit carried away, I'm a bit excited, bear with me. Jordan Henderson, excellent. Came on today, winning the ball high up the pitch. Just a proper captain shift again from him. Always involved in the play. Looking to hook up with players. Playing in the channels. And he, there was one time there today where I could finally see what Klopp was speaking about. We fed a ball down to the channel. Darwin ran into it. Held the ball up well. Laid it. Actually no he didn't lay it off. It was defended and went out for a corner. But you could see what Klopp was talking about. What, what Darwin will bring to the team. Um, and then the other side of Darwin as well apart from the four goals and by the way just in case you didn't know he did score four goals today could have had five Jimmy Milner put in a great cross on the right hand side Darwin rose like a salmon from the River Boyne planted his header towards the keeper's left hand post but the keeper got two good strong hands on it and touched it around uh, another performance today was Bjaticic I hope that's how you pronounce his name really impressive wasn't he and I've got to be honest I didn't know too much about this kid before pre-season but he has impressed me every time he stepped onto the pitch. Uh, Davies in goal as well. Still haven't seen too much of him with his hands, but his distribution is on point. I don't remember him giving the ball away once. Obviously, we've seen minutes for Joe Gomez as well, which is good to see. Um, and yeah, Costa's got some minutes. No injuries, so that's a bonus. So all in all, for me today, it's very promising signs. The Reds will head off in the week-long pre-season training camp now. And then we've got that game against Salzburg. Then the Community Shield or the Charity Shield at the King Power against Manchester City. The day after then, it's a friendly against Strasbourg. Then the serious business of the season starts. So look, I'm not going to dwell. I'm not going to hang around. I'm not going to go over the top. Delighted for Darwin though. Let me know your thoughts. Who was your man of the match today? Whose performance has caught your eye? I would have liked to have seen Tyler Morton maybe get some minutes, but wasn't to be today. I'm sure he'll get minutes soon. We'll also see Calvin Ramsey hooking up with the team in Austria, by the way. He flew out, I think it was today. So he should be ready and hopefully getting minutes uh, before the season kicks on the way. All good, all good, my friends. Bright sparks. Uh, the lads looked a lot sharper. Darwin looks a lot more settled. That will do him no harm. Because I'm not sure. It probably went under the radar a little bit. But he did score four goals today. Um, what was that? No, four goals today. So, yeah. Darwin Nunes confirmed. Best player in the Premier League. Best signing in the history of football. But not to get carried away with it. Boom.